Hello everyone, I thought I would do a short video to show you some of my new toys and how you can use cross-platform with them. This is my Labyrinth Through Time and this is a fabulous one-stop divination shop all together, if you, especially if you're a traveller. Um, it all comes in this fabulous gold tin and it's a screw lid so the lid won't pop off. And it's called Labyrinth Through Time, Unlocking Your Destiny. And what it is, this is the booklet and it's a big book. It's got 67, oh no, 76 pages um, with all the different dictionary of meanings and a very big step-by-step -step on how to use it and it's lovely because you can use it for both mediumship as well as predictive readings so I'll go and show you what this is first so in the kit it has a little cotton bag and they are a little mini deck of cards and there is 11 word cards make sure i got them separate here 11 word cards and then we have 25 image cards so that is part of the labyrinth kit it has it comes with a purple dice and it's a 12 sided dice and it also comes with an amethyst pendulum and your pendulum is on actually a necklace chain so you can wear it as a piece of jewelry whenever you like or you can keep it in with your kit and there is a double-sided mat and this is we call this the alphabet side and this has letters all from the alphabet it's the clock is the numbers uh, and you'll see all these symbols all in a circle because there's a particular way you use this and then on the other side we have what i call my life wheel and this is just the eight segments that cover most people's life in any shape and form Brilliant this side if you do short readings or when people ask for a general reading because you use your charms and stuff to scatter. Um, and I've done the eight sections and my life wheel like this, I developed it, gosh, probably about eight or so years ago now. And it's a, a good gold standard favourite. So I have that. And you have optional with this kit. It doesn't come standard with charms, but there is an option to put charms in it. And the main reason that it's done that way is I know there is a lot of people who already have their own charm kits. So in here, I've actually got my add-on charm kit of 50 plus my starter charm kit of 50 as well. So a very simple view on how you use this is if you are using it for mediumship, you use your pendulum and it's all in the book and there's also a free demo course that I put you into when you purchase this. So if you are more of a monkey see monkey do person, that's great for a visual cue, but all the information's in the booklet if you just want to sit and read. So for mediumship, you start with your pendulum and I go through in the book on how to tell your yeses and how to tell your noes. My yeses are anti-clockwise and my noes are clockwise. And I'm currently in my tea room here. And so if I go over to my key, the very first thing is I have to ask is, is spirit here today? And I don't know if you can see that, but it's telling me yes. So you then use your pendulum to go through, is it male? Is it female? Is it an uh, older female? Is it an uh, older male? Is it a young person? So you'd go, yes. Then I'd go, is it female? If it's not, we're then a male. Then I'd work out, is it an older male or a young male? And then you would use your charms and you scatter for your messages so that's just one short way of doing it 
And the reason for the cards and also the question cards is for when you want extra information. So you've got here dragon, for instance, sitting here on the, on the moon. So I would shuffle the cards. Now dragon is don't be afraid and moon is the light. So it's like don't be afraid of the light and being seen. Moon is often too very emotional. So it means don't fear your emotions. So I would go through and I would shuffle. And I want to ask a little bit more information here. So I simply draw a couple of cards. And these symbols are all the symbols that is on the um, mat. So you can layer these for more information. Your word cards, I have several. I've got do this and don't do this, um, hopes and fears, what's hidden and further advice pros and cons and then we've also got the three six and twelve month cards so um and i could have a question and say i'm reading for a client and they ask them about the career then they've got here babies near it it's also on the number four so numbers are timings person place and thing and it would tell me there um if I've got anything or a question around that, I can say, well, okay, we do this at the workplace and don't do this at the workplace. And then it's up to you, you can use either the cards or a couple of charms each. So the whole idea of my labyrinth, it is about layer upon layer upon layer. So you can tell I love Sara Lee cakes Sara Lee cheesecake we used to have the saying about that here and it was like layer upon layer and this is what is so lovely about this system is you just add whatever you feel and honestly you know when to stop this side of it is the general side and it's great again you can either do a random scatter um Sections that don't have anything on them means they're not relevant to what you need to know at this time. When a charm goes off the mat, back into the pot, and you would read this then as a general. And when I read my life wheel, here, for instance, I've got the tent and it's crossing between the two sections. So I'd actually read that for each of the sections. And the same here, my balloons crossing between career and love and relationships. So I do the same. Now, what I also want to explain is my newest babies are coins. Now, coins. These are, I call these fantasy. This here on the back is a pocket watch or a clock. And they do tell all the same time. Um, but this side of them is my fantasy symbols. And this is the brightly coloured version and like the fantasy. And I'll show you. So my favourite is all this beautiful teal, blue, green. And they're just divine. I just love them. And what they are, they are also a set of 50 that are the same 50 as my tea cards and the same 50 as my starter charm kits. But this is just in a beautiful divine form. And it's actually glass over here. The size is one inch or 2.5 centimetres and they're metal and glass and they just feel beautiful when you run your hands through them. And that's the Fantas T one. And this here is the same, only I have my lovely Alice in Wonderland theme. There's my lovely Cheshire cat and our ring and our bold bossy queen. So that's the two versions that I have in this at this stage. So it doesn't matter. It's really just choose what style that you like. So again, you can cross platforms. So here we would say, okay, 
say you've got um, a client, they want to know um, they've been in a dead end job, they've been offered another role by a, a competitor company, and they're asking, I'm not sure what to do. Same thing here, you do your predictive readings. So we would lay out your charms. So a lady in that situation, she's got uh, the balloon and the tunnel symbol on the man. So it does tell me letting the stresses go for the long term is something very important. She's also got the wolf here, and it's not a fox, it's a wolf, um, on the baby, which tells me there's an aggressive young male. That's probably why is part of the reason that you are leaving, but you need to do this to eliminate stress for your long term. Your hourglass on your number three tells me don't sit on this offer too long because the hourglass time moves very quickly. The number three is about three days, three weeks, up to three months. And with that role, I would say get onto it within the next few days because the hourglass says stop wasting time. Um, we've then got the gun, and the gun is often about aggression. Take aim, but know your direction. It's sitting on the letter O. And so that could be the person's name that you may be going to, even a company or a suburb. And that's important. You've also got up here the lion on the J. Again, J could be Jacqueline, it could be John. Lion, again, is often a symbol around strength and power and career, but it would still tell me, though, go where there is great leadership as a mentor rather than a dominator. Um, having, ruling by a heavy hand is not required. The cherries here is between the money, the car, and the number 10, which would tell me great opportunities grab the journey but increase in money. So then I can add more um, by the cards. It's interesting to have both the man and the woman come out together. Um, and I'm asking here about relieving stress. Those two, him going to the new job, would tell me he's got a lovely, careful blend of positive and negative, but also the softer side and the whole um, drive, driven side. So we can do that. But then we bring in our two coins and again, I'm just grabbing a few and I'm layering here yet again. So see how we just add and add and add and add some more. And we can even use our questions here and I can go hopes and fears. And I can draw out just one each on those. So the hopes here with the dog would tell me lovely, relaxed, friendly environment. The fears with the cat would tell me they're a little bit scared. Are they going to come against competition or someone who's a little bit on the underhanded side? So you can layer any of these together and whether you choose to layer them all, it's fabulous. Um, I have a dear friend who's a professional reader here in Melbourne and she's using all of this. She uses this mat at her own personal readings and she works in a couple of different crystal stores and so on. And this is utilising cards, mat, charms, coins and pendulum. So see what I mean where I'm going? We've got this whole divination in a kit. So I hope that helps explain a little bit more about using all the different tools together is perfectly okay. And to be perfectly honest, I'm the type of person who does use everything all at once. And that way I look at it with my own clients is I'm getting layer and layer and layer. So... There you go. But that's my new coins. They're available in the Fantas Tea, which is the bold colours, and also in Alice in Wonderland. And I'll put the links below.